beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Banipa Papa Birunji and I recently did my big chop be sure to check that out but my hair is so hot and shrinkage is real that I'll be taking through my wash day routine today first I go in with hot water warm water which I pre-boil because your girl doesn't have a heater but make sure it's not too hot because you don't want to burn your scalp for me, I have a sensitive scalp, so yes, it was a bit warm, just basically warm. Next, I'm going in with my also clean and Jackie's moisturizing and softening shampoo. I got this recommendation for these products from Namuli. Be sure to check out her channel. And my God, I am so, so, so impressed. The shampoo smells amazing. And immediately I put it in my hair. It just feels softer and healthier and better. So I've been using the Aunt Jackie's products and they work really, 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 really well. They work really, really, really well. And I shampoo my hair in sections, making sure that all my hair is covered up in that shampoo, wrapping it in till the scalp. After making sure my hair is all covered up, I then go ahead and use my scalp massager which I got from Uzuri Natural Hair Salon. That's one of my favorite places to be at. So I use the scalp massager to basically massage my head. Also, I have a very, very, very itchy scalp and all my days this feels so, 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 so good. It really, really, really helps. And considering I have clothes for nails, for finger, for fingernails, it would be really, really hard to get all that itch out of my head. So the, the scalp massager really, really helps with that. And it also helps promote hair growth, reduce the muscle tension in my head and my hair generally and balance the nervous system. So it's really, 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 really helpful. And it's also relaxing. So I stop massaging my scalp when I feel like the itch is done. And then I do a cold water rinse. And you can shampoo once or twice depending on how itchy your scalp is or how dirty your hair is. So this time I did one rinse because my hair was not so so dirty and the water came out majorly clear. Yeah, so, and you can see the hair looks longer, feels fresh, feels good. Though I'm really, 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 really extremely wet in a t-shirt, but we move. Content has to be created. <laughs> After patting my hair dry with a towel, I then go in with apple cider vinegar and this is basically to help with my itchy scalp. People of God, when I tell you that my scalp will be itching the following day after doing a whole wash day routine, like it's, it's really, really, really sad. Anyway, I go in with spraying apple cider vinegar in sections of my scalp directly into the hair and then I massage that in and that will give me a bit of a sting but then yeah it really 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 helps with my itchy scalp it's a work in progress and eventually the scalp will stop itching i don't know when how if you have any other remedies for itchy scalps please recommend in the comment section help a girl out please help a sister mm, help a sister after washing out apple cider vinegar the magic is here people all oh, my days and jackie's in control conditioner does magic my hair is not yet that long so most people's wash days you know they have long strands of hair to like pull and put the conditioner but yeah i'm still going to do the same with my short hair basically put the conditioner on each and every strand of hair you need to take care of each and every strand of your hair because if you ignore parts of it then it's going to grow differently and have different effects but then i rub in the conditioner in different segments partitions all around the hair and this really 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 makes the hair feel really soft and my afro looks more puffy than it is when the shrinkage has come in <laughs> After 
after applying conditioner throughout my hair i then go ahead and then cover it with a shower cap and i let this sit on for about 20 to 30 minutes before i can take it out and the conditioner really helps to make the hair softer it's just like adding fabric softener to your clothes wash yeah so the conditioner makes your hair really 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 soft it's like magic and makes the hair silky smooth and detangle free i mean who doesn't want detangle free hair guys Eish. anyway 30 minutes are up and the hair looks good feels good and it's easy to detangle in this time and i go in with a comb to try and detangle in partitions in different sections however you need to get a big tooth comb because this was not as good for me it was still a bit like a kind of painful or my hair is just too hard but the conditioner did its work either way it did its work regardless yeah so i go in i keep combing and detangling in sections <laughs> After washing out the conditioner, I am going to style and I'm going to be using a leave-in conditioner, the Quench Aunt Jackie's leave-in conditioner and soft all over multi-purpose oil. I mix the two and apply this throughout my hair. A spray a mixture of water and scalps with the oils from Missouri Natural Hair Salon. The spray bottle and the oils were both brought in from there. And I'm going to be using the Eco Styler gel to kind of hold the curls in. This is a hairstyle I saw on YouTube but on a random Friday, 3 a.m. in the night, and I woke up the next day. I'm like, hey, let's try this and see if it works out. And it worked and it has honestly saved me a lot because I don't have to comb my hair every day. I can kind of style it. And it lasts for some good time so after putting in the leave-in condition and oils i then spray and start to keep it hydrated and then put in the gel because the curls can either coil on their own but when there's gel they kind of hold better and they last longer and that way you don't have to kind of do your curls every morning so i spray i keep spraying make sure the hair stays moisturized and hydrated and I think you can use a sponge, you know, there's that sponge they used to do this hairstyle or you can DIY it with your hands and basically just keep going into circular rotations in your hair and the curls start to form on their own. P.S. I should warn you, this is not for the faint-hearted. I do this over and over and over and over again as the hair keeps getting you know the curls keep appearing more the coils keep coming i spray i do it over and over and over again and also be warned wash day is a whole upper body workout and my hands literally lost some weight that day but that's the trick round and round and round motions and eventually the curls come in and yes it's still white because the leave-in conditioner is in and the gel and the oil but then i let it air dry you can alternatively cover it with your hair bonnet and go to bed but then i let it air dry look at those curls oh my god look at those oh my days that's going to last me some time so let's rest enjoy those curls let it air dry and then we see how they look like the next day
following day and this spray bottle should be your best friend if you're doing natural hair water water should be your best friend i add oil because my hair is a bit dry so i mix oil inside the bottle so that it kind of you know keeps the moisture in every day that i spray so this hairstyle is so easy to maintain you basically have your spray bottle spray every morning uh you know go in with your hands rub in circular motions and that is basically it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and share my videos love you